Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So I am going to work on my new French inspired journal that I showed you guys yesterday. And um, Victoria wanted me to maybe add some like architectural elements. <clears throat> and I showed you those, those one pages and I'll be using those, those ones from that Paris book. But I found this Dodd Gifts on Etsy. And um, she has this pretty Gothic legend digital kit and it's just got some really cool like architectural elements. It's kind of hard to find a whole lot on that that is copyright free. I did find a few things, but nothing like what I wanted to find. But I found, or this is part of that same digital kit, the Dodd Gifts one. And so is this Gothic Legend is what it's called. So those are kind of neat, so I thought, those are a possibility to use, but I think what we're going to do is take this hour and just try to get as many ephemera pieces done as we can using, you know, like what I have right here. So, uh, sort of like the color challenge. I just kind of like doing that because I seem to be a little more productive when I just have, you know, a few things to work with and that's it. So, let's get started. Hope you guys are faring okay in the, in the fun times. We're doing pretty good around here. I took my daughter to the dentist and it is her wisdom teeth. So as soon as everything opens, she'll have to have her wisdom teeth pulled. So, I mean, it's good. There's no infection. So like that part is yay, because that's the part that was concerning me, but she's not infected. It just got swollen because those teeth are pushing through. So um, yeah, anyhow. You feel like you're a criminal or something though you go and they'll like unlock the door and let you in and lock the door behind you and then <laughs> let you out and lock the door it's 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 all very strange this this time that we're in um i think i'm going to start with this one this is just an envelope hooked to two book pages torn down to the size that i wanted them and i already tore down a um, journaling card to go inside so i think i'm going to use these because they're Pretty cool. I like those. I hope this is along the lines you're thinking, Victoria. Just let me know. I looked quite a bit last night, but like I said, it's the whole copyright thing. Man, if it wasn't for copyright, we could make some really cool stuff. <laughs> but the copyright thing is just a killer. Somebody um, was also super kind and sent me like clip art of hyacinths and their beautiful images. But there again, the whole copyright thing sort of kills that. I mean, sometimes you can use some of them, but it can be hard figuring out what you can use and can't use. That's the other thing. And so I always err on the side of caution because I don't want to, it's just not worth the taking the chance and having troubles with that. Some old music paper. Maybe do I want it on this side so we can see the treble clefs and the bass clefs? That might be better. So, you guys had some great comments about things you did when you were kids, and um, it reminded me of more things like making forts. That was an awesome thing that we always did. We would, like, leave the house in the morning, and then I wouldn't come home until my dad would, like, come out on the porch and basically yell for me because he didn't know like exactly what direction I was in and so we would just sort of you know we would stay close enough that we could hear our parents or whatever but um yeah that was sort of how it worked where I grew up anyway but yeah we were basically outside all day but yeah fort building that was I think that's pretty much a given with kids if they're even if they play inside and do like pillow forts or whatever. But my grandfather had some old pickup trucks that we would like sort of make fort type things in the back of and stuff. They're all broken down, you know, not running kind of trucks. So that was tons of fun. And then somebody else was saying that they would catch fireflies and frogs 
and a friend of mine lived um, near the water company and there was like this pond and it had polywogs in it and so we would go get polywogs and my dad had built like a little I don't just a little concrete pond in our backyard or it's actually our front yard um, for me and so we would bring them put them in the little pond that was hours of fun and then they would turn into frogs and leave <laughs> just about the time you were like yay little frogs and then they'd be gone but you know that's the way that goes it's cool to see them though get their legs and all that fun stuff I'll go all the way around this. I cut this end of this envelope open, so I'll be closing it over here. These are, you know, like Rachel Roxy Creations does these quite often, this style of envelope and book page thing. So, not my idea. But they are fun to do. Turn it this way. And then what else do we want to put on there? figure out what we're going to put there. Hmm. I wonder if one of these would be just a little too small, but if I put something behind it, it would be, it would work. I like this little one right here. And I'll still be using the Medieval Mirage in that. I just wanted to add a few of these type of elements because she loves loves them so that's always a good thing to have in your journal. I did not have a whole lot of luck with French flags. That's that is another one that might be hard. I found a like a couple of old war type images but that probably isn't a great one. I'm just going through my papers here. That one's not big enough. Oh, this side is. So if we just did like... Mm, yeah, that's really not going to work. This one's pretty. This is Medieval Mirage, and I'm not sure exactly what kit this is. Right here. But that would work behind there, just to cover the envelope all the way. So let's do that. Let me get this edge off. I was wrong yesterday. A lot of those I kept saying eclectic essentials and it was um, feminine finesse. So, but I put all the links to the digital kits that I used in my description box. So you can go there and find it. And it'll say, you know, more info above it and there's the little green arrow. So you just have to, it, like, is a drop down. It's You can't see it just by looking below the video because the comments are below the video. But um, the description box is, like, literally right under the video if you're having trouble finding it. I wanted it this way because I like this flower here. Maybe I'll do, like, no, because I ripped the page wrong. <laughs> All right. But yeah, all the kits are there with the links, so you should just be able to click on them and go to them. glue on here so that hopefully I don't glue the envelope shut as we always talk about and I will put one bead down that edge there and hopefully I'll end up hitting it.
Yes, we had to be at the dentist at 8.30 this morning. That was an, That's the earliest we've had to be anywhere in a long time. Felt kind of silly going because a lot of her swelling had gone down, but it, I knew that it was going to be a wisdom tooth thing, so it was good because now we have the referral and we can just call and go in whenever stuff opens up again. I'm going to tear just a tiny bit more off of this side. And these were, I think, meant to be journaling cards, but. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want, obviously, with them. I'm going to tear this bottom edge off, too. Just so you can see the rows a teeny bit more. Cute little cherub. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys before I forget that the on Monday the color challenge will be doing brown. So get all of your brown things together if you're participating. We'll see what things we can come up with. That will be fun. I like brown, so. Well, that's what I end up using a lot anyway. I don't know that it's necessarily like a favorite color or anything. It's just that, um, you know, a lot of this vintage look, you end up using it. It'll be pretty on there. Whoops. Nice day again. The birds are all outside singing away. Got up to 72 yesterday. It was really nice. But then, of course, on Easter Sunday, it's going to be like 56, which still, you know, it's not horrible. I'll take that over, you know, freezing and stuff. But it's just, I was hoping it would be as nice as it's been this whole week. Not that we're doing a whole lot of anything, but... It's just fun to sit outside. And relax. <clears throat> I don't know what else I want to put with this piece. Bless you. Bless you. You know, you sneeze every day in my video. <laughs> yes. It's like your thing. <clears throat> I could do one of these. That might be kind of cool. Like this one on there. Let's get her cut out. This will take a minute, so you can fast forward if you would like. Try to be speedy about it, but it's, it's kind of funny when I think about us going to that pond and catching pollywogs because nobody went with us <laughs> and, um. You just think about now, it's like, you can't hardly let your kids do anything. Or at least that's the way it feels. People are always like, oh yeah, don't let them go anywhere near water. And don't let them, and I just think of all the stuff we did. And it was like, my goodness, how did we survive all of that? 
I mean, it's probably because of stuff that happened when we were kids that makes people say, you know, don't do this or whatever. Like, I had a friend drowned, you know. But there was like a dock sort of thing built all the way around this. Um, I don't know what else to call it but a pond. But anyway, <coughs> uh, you could walk all the way around. We never got in the water. We just would catch the polywogs around the edge. But definitely could have easily fallen in or something. My husband talks about he grew up here in Idaho and they used to, you know, go swing, rope swing into the river and stuff like that all the time. I mean, and nobody was ever anywhere. <laughs> it's just funny, the difference. Angels are pretty. She didn't hear about every little detail of people's lives back then either, you know, the news was not as in your face and the whole online thing and all of that. So maybe not hearing all the horror stories was helpful to parents to not be so, I don't know, I don't want to say protective because it's a good thing to be protective, but like, it's like overly, and I'm guilty of it as well, so I can't can't talk at all there. Just saying. It's just different. Uh, let me get I kind of want some old book page or something behind that. It feels like it needs a break of some kind. I just, I don't know. It just felt like it needed something. Like, not a lot, just a little something there. I think. I mean, this paper is pretty aged already. So it just splits. Ugh. I don't know why that helps, but for some reason to me that helps. <laughs> okay, so that one's good. So let's do the, oh, we can do the whole thumb punch, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully my um, little thingy here will work. It's always questionable. No. Nope. It's like if it's too thin it won't work, if it's too thick it won't work, if it, I mean it's like those are so ultra picky, it's annoying. And I end up chopping off all my little pink rose, not all of it but most of it. journaling 
card and it's blank on that side, so I'll probably just leave that side like that. Oh, it's blank on both sides, yes. That's pretty nice. Some of these cathedrals are really cool, but I would have to tear off a lot of it for that. So let's see what else. Oh yeah, I have this one that I found. So let's see if I can... We're cooking right along. This will be good. Oh yeah, that one fits really nice. Alright, what do we put with that? I happen to have this hyacinth, but that's really a difference in color. Because I printed that on white instead of the... Um, different. Some of these flowers might work. They're, you know, different, but definitely like the colors better together. Hmm. Let me see. Tear off a strip. It's hard to tell when you're just Holding it like that. I mean, you just don't see any of it. <laughs> I could pull it this way and tear off another piece. Put something else down here. Make sure I get this right side up. It's look kind of hard to tell. I mean, there's some angels up there, so. Let's see. It's this way. Yeah. There are apostles or something up at the top. images I like more. They're Marie Antoinette, but, um, which I know she wasn't a fabulous person. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was just her time and the way she was, <clears throat> the lifestyle that she led, I guess. Black 
the bottom of this. To tear a little more off the side because it's not, it wasn't equal when it printed the frame around that. that one better with it. it just the colors better that one would go good on this <clears throat> maybe some lace I feel like it needs something down in that corner No idea what this light bulb says, but it looks like onion. I don't know, macaroni or something. I don't even know. That's kind of funny. All right, but it looks good under there, so that's good. What about I have this like netting in like gold? What that look like? It's tool that's been dyed. It'll probably work just for something different. I mean, lace would work too, but it's got to go in and out of that pocket. So. Something like that. Just gives it a little, a little shine or something. Not sure how I'm gonna hold that down, but you know. Let's see. I wonder if I. This is probably just gonna cut it up. I'm going to try to just very lightly cover it. I don't like putting it on there because then you can see the shine even once it dries. Which is kind of annoying. If there's a few glops in the middle, that's fine because that's where the image is going to go. So. I need one of those cards. What did I do with my cards? Hopefully that'll work. I don't know. If not, we will figure something out. I'm going to go ahead and put tacky glue over <clears throat> on this um, image so that it sticks through the tool. There are lots of images of her, that's for sure. It's hard to find anybody else. <laughs> but there's lots of images of her. I'm sure that was by design. Vain would be an understatement, I'm thinking. All right, so we're gonna go around this with some ink. That 
needs to be folded. And then that will get stitched around too. So it's gonna go. Yeah. I think I'm gonna turn her this way. There is a little bit of tool that's um you know I'm gonna ink back here too. This is book page, so it takes the ink pretty nice. Just gotta be careful not to. Now you could definitely use your brush here, the blush brush kind of thing. Seems to be doing okay. Alright, and then let's see, do I have I'm gonna add one of these stamps <clears throat> on that back corner. Let me find the let's see glass. And I'm using my archival ink. It just um, works a little bit better. I think it's from rubbing the dauber on there all the time. It kind of gets little, almost like lint type balls on there. And this is a Stampin' Up stamp, and I got it in a paper pumpkin. So I don't, I don't know if you can get it or not. I'm just gonna go down here. I didn't want it quite that dark, so I stamped it off once onto the book page. Okay, so just a little something back there. So go in here, hopefully, without catching on everything. It's not too bad, that's pretty thin. And just that little bit of tool will stick out. So there is that one. 32 minutes. So let's see if we can get this one done because that would be good. I want this upper part I like. I don't particularly like the, um, for this, the airmail. I mean, I like it. I just don't, not for this. But this is Medieval Mirage. is I'm just standing here trying to think. I can't think of what it is. I want mostly the hyacinth there. I'm just gonna kinda just kind of collage on here other things. Mm. It's too much alike.
right. I don't know if I want to make this into a flip or probably a pocket. Be best. Big enough, probably barely. It says medieval missives. Luckily, it says right on there. <laughs> it's just kind of French script and stuff. Good background thing. Like I've said before, um, really any of Joff's kits are beautiful, and there's a lot of variety in every kit. The only one, well, Sienna, Sepia, and Sage, you know, it's all in those colors, and then uh, Sweet Serenity is a lot of those lavenders. Um, I mean, there's still lots of variety, it's just... Those are probably the two that I can think of off the top of my head that have the most similar colorways. Throughout, throughout the kit. to try on that too so that will be fine we can add our image of one of the lovely ladies on them I don't think those will fit too big I think these are too wide. Yeah. The skinnier ones. that image. Tore it, I could put that on there. I hate to tear away that rose though. That's a good size. 
I'm like, oh, there's these smaller ones too. She's pretty. Yeah, I think I might go with that one just because I've used I've used this one. I like to, you know, have a little bit of variety so they're not all the same images all the way through. And I'm gonna put a piece of lace behind her. I can find I don't know where my other scissors are. Let me go ahead and stitch around that and then do some other stitching. So I'm going to set that aside, but it'll go right there. <laughs> and let's see if we can get this one done before we run out of time. So this is just a piece of scrapbook paper that I've cut and you know, I've had it forever, so I'm not even sure exactly where it came from, but there it is. I just really like this blue with her. It's pretty. behind her instead. We can try it. You breaking things? Uh, oh. <laughs> Problem is, it would have to be on this side. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Sorry about that. Sometimes you just have to see it to know if it's gonna work or not. Find that other piece. So it has these cool uh, corners. So let me cut those out. That. Need to. Originally, I was going to leave these on this card, but I just thought that one of them might look neat. that on there. So that's what I'm going to do.
All right, let's put something on the back, and that's just a simple one, and they can be that simple. Coffee dyed paper will work. I'm just going to glue this right on there. I mean, you could probably write on here, but this feels too modern to me, so um, I need a piece with no glue. I always have to, you know, cut into the card a little bit when I start. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, yeah, I like that better. That looks a little more vintagey. This one I am going to take this brush right. I kind of want to try this one Another label, sorry, probably sick of them. This is the hour is late. <laughs> I used one of these the other day when I did that, when I did my red challenge. I kind of like these ones that even though they hang off the edge, they look kind of neat, I think, when you take them all the way to the edge of something else. So don't throw them away if you do that. Piece of fabric just randomly jumping out there. Okay, I'm gonna go do some stitching and I'll be right back to show you guys the end result. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So I um, stitched around here and I stitched around this one and I added a little lace there. So that's going to go right in there. And I was thinking um, this might be kind of hard to write on, but you could add a little something if you wanted to, but it's just pretty. <laughs> I'm, I'm Sometimes I'm not great with the writing on space, but there's the journal card, so it's not like there's no space at all. And then I thought this card fits in this really nicely, so I stitched all around it. Um, just so we're all clear, I'm not great at stitching in a circle. <laughs> and then, this little card I stitched around. I taught myself to just sew on paper. I really know nothing about sewing on fabric. So, um, I mean, you know, like I sew little covers and stuff like that, but following patterns and all that, I, I don't know how to do. So anyways, that is where we got today. And I know it wasn't exactly an hour, but roughly an hour with the stitching and everything. So yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty good. Some nice pieces to put in Victoria's album so, or journal. I always say album. All right, guys, have an awesome day. Please, please stay safe, um, stay healthy and enjoy your time with your family. And we will chat again on Monday and the color challenge Monday brown. All right. Chat later. Bye bye.